Hi everyone, the main concern relating to drinking water out of copper vessel is copper poisoning, which might occur as a result of excessive amounts of copper in the water. This is valid concern as copper toxicity can be serious with symptoms ranging from vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain and headaches to difficulty breathing and even irregular heartbeat. However, this happens only when the copper vessel is used incorrectly. In this video, I will explain how you can make sure you avoid copper toxicity. First, heat. When heated, copper becomes more reactive and thus bound to release a much larger number of copper ions when in contact with another substance. The copper cookware like pots are usually lined with another metal on the inside to avoid copper's reactivity when heated, but copper vessels usually are not lined, so you can actually benefit from the copper ions getting to your water. Therefore, you must not pour hot or even worse, boiling water, coffee or tea to the copper vessel. Essentially, the greater the temperature of water, the more capable it is of absorbing the copper ions. If you prefer to store water that you have previously boiled, make sure you let the water cool off to room temperature before you pour it into the copper vessel. Also, you should not put your copper vessel into the dishwasher. The issue with copper toxicity mainly appears when acidic liquids like citrus juices, milk, drinks with vinegar, fruit juice or wine are kept in the copper vessels. This is because they highly react with the copper, leading to the presence of high levels of copper salts leaking into the liquids. Copper vessels are designed to keep only water in them, so keep that in mind. The level of copper ions released to the water also depends on the quality of the water that you have in your tap. If your water is soft, it's best to limit the consumption of your copper infused water or shorten the infusion times. This is because soft water opposed to hard water lacks the minerals making it aggressive towards online copper, meaning that it will pull copper ions much more quickly than hard water does. If you have hard water, it will take several days for the water to reach the maximum copper parts per million set by international standards. So overall, if you limit the use of copper vessels to drinking water only that is at room temperature and preferably hard, you should not be concerned about the copper toxicity as long as your copper vessel is good quality. In some cases, a low price tag might indicate that it's a metal vessel that has been only plated with copper. And that's it for today's video. Hope you have learned something and if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Have a mogulicious day and see you next Thursday day.